Okay, I think we're ready. Ready? Okay, this is uh, acid based titrations. Number four example titration problem of a strong acid titrated by a strong base. So, what's the pH at each of the following points in the titration of 25 ml of 0.1 molar HCl by 0.1 molar NaOH? Before the addition of NaOH, all you have in your Erlenmeyer is HCl. The HCl will totally dissociate into the hydrogen ion and the chloride ion. The only thing we're interested in here is anything that can affect the pH, and that would be the hydrogen ion. So if you have 0 0.100 molar here, you also have 0 0.100 molar there. So the pH, before anything happens, is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, which is equal to the negative log of 0 0.1, which is equal to 1. So, that's a pretty strong acid, beastly acid. Now, um, we are going to add 24 ml of 0.1 molar NaOH. I want you to stop and think. You have 25 ml of 0.1 molar HCl in there now. You're going to add 24 ml of 0.1 molar NaOH. What is the pH of this solution going to be? Neutral, acidic, or basic? Acidic. 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 It has not quite been neutralized by the uh, NaOH. So this becomes a neutralization or stoichiometry problem. Uh, yesterday I started using ICN tables, and you're going to use an ICN table here. Remember, the neutralization slash stoichiometry needs moles. So I need to know the neutralization reaction that's occurring in my Erlenmeyer. It's the hydrogen ion from the hydrochloric acid plus the OH from the NaOH and it's forming some water. So I need to know the moles. I'm given uh, molarity in milliliters, so I can figure out the number of millimoles. I have 25 <coughs> mil of 0.1 <coughs> molar hydrochloric acid, which is going to give me 2.5 millimoles of my hydrogen ion. I have added 24 milliliters. of 0.1 molar OH, so I have 2.4 moles of the OH, and initially I have no water. So the change, I want you to look at this uh, stoichiometrically and tell me which one of these are going to limit. The OH, the OH. Yeah. The OH limits. So the OH will completely be used up. The, a, oops, the H and the OH are stoichiometrically the same. So for every millimole of OH you use, you're going to use a millimole of H plus. And you end up with uh, 2.4 millimole of the water. I'm not really concerned about the water. It's not affecting the pH. I'm just concerned about these. Right. So at neutralization, I have 0.1 mole of hydrogen ions left, and I have no hydroxide ions. Okay. Now, I need to figure out the pH at this point. I can go ahead and figure out the pH at this point. However, remember my pH calculations require that I use molarity. So I need to figure out the molarity of the hydrogen ions that I have. Okay, it would be 0.1 mole in how many liters, of, uh, milliliters of solution? 40, 50, 49, 49 milli, uh, milliliters, yep. Where did that come from? 
I had the 25 original, the 24 I added, and so that will give <coughs> me my uh, concentration, which is 0 0.00204 molar. Now, to do the pH, the negative log of that quantity, and the pH at this point is 2.69. Okay. Dang, that OH barely brought it up. Yep, yeah, well, barely brought it up. Remember, um, if we're looking at this titration curve, we're still here. Yeah. And we're, now we're expecting the big jump. So let's hang on. That was a good point. So how so much do you add? Add? Well, let's do that. Yeah, at the equivalence point. We would only have to add one more milliliter. One more milliliter. It is a meteoric rise in pH. Okay, let's add. 25 mils of um, the NaOH. Okay, we, we will have the same equation. Initially, we're going to have the 2.5 millimoles of the hydrogen ion. We are at the equivalence point, the number of moles of the hydrogen ion <coughs> is equal to the number of moles of the OH ion. Ion, so we know we also have 2.5 millimoles of this. None of that. All right, these are stoichiometrically even. They will react one to one. One minute. So at neutralization, you have no hydrogen ions in that solution. You have no hydroxide ions in the solution. You just have Water. Water. What is the pH of water? Saving. 7.0. So, done there. It will always be 7.0 for a strong acid and a strong base. It will not be such for a weak acid and a strong base or a weak base and a strong acid. So and we'll go through those problems. Will we always need to have the ICN table? Uh, yes, the ICN table is you accounting for the neutralization and seeing where you are in the um, titration. What was that just on the big acid check? This? The, the equilibrium. The Equivalence point? Equilibrium. No. Uh, I myself know that uh, a strong acid, strong base equal at equivalence will be 7. And the um, AP people will let you just write 7. No, I'm just like, how do you know? Like, is there a way to solve for a 25 million? Um, oh, no. The, uh, in the molar. Oh, yeah, I guess it, we could. You mean if we did this? Well, like, you just put like the Over, um, um, yeah. Like that, you mean? And figure out the pH of that? This becomes nothing but the auto ionization of water. Well, not the pH, mm -hmm. but the OH. How did I know it was 2.5? Yeah. Okay. It's because the strong. No, I knew it was 2.5 because at the equivalence point by, this is a good question, at the equivalence point by definition, the hydrogen ion and the OH are equivalent, are the same. Oh, okay. in volume? In, in, in millimole, not in volume. Well, it tells in you moles. where we have the 2.5. Okay. If you know what you started with, at the equivalence point, the, um, the titrant is exact, has the exact same number of moles or millimoles. So it's always going to be? Always. Oh. That's something you need to count on. It's a piece of information that you'll not be told that you need to use. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, let's uh, look. Um, we have now covered um, when it was acidic, when it's neutral. Now we need to look in when it was basic. Okay, so we've added 26 milliliters of the NaOH. We're still working with our same neutralization stoichiometry equation, and that's the hydrogen ion is equal to, plus the hydroxide ion makes water. Initially, 